Hi honey, how are you? It's Technicolor, and today we are going to be checking out my Animal Crossing New Horizons Island. Now for those of you who are following me on Twitch, you know that this is my first Animal Crossing game ever, and I quickly fell in love. But you also know that I have a huge love of The Little Mermaid. So today, we are going to be checking out the character that I made based off of Princess Ariel and the house and well bed and breakfast that I made in her honor <laughs> um basically I'm a huge Little Mermaid fan and I wanted extra storage on my island and I wanted to create something that really fit Ariel so today we're going to be doing just that so let's check it out so, um, <laughs> this is Ariel's grotto. Uh, she's got this cute little pink house and the blue roof, uh, kind of like the bow on the top of her head. But here's something really cool about her little island here. It's actually not only just named Ariel's grotto, it actually is a grotto. So I basically made a, this is my actual house, by the way, but I actually made a grotto for her with all of the thingamabobs and just all the who's it's and what's it's galore that she has collected over all of her time here on Cabot Cove, which is my island name. And I created this cute little grotto and I just absolutely love it. Like here, let me go into the camera app kind of zoom in for a few things oh can't see it that way but we have a little ship in a bottle over there we have some red roses and the um, seashell kind of like Ursula's necklace you know you know and then over here we have a few different things like she has a suitcase of all the travels that she's never actually made uh, a flamingo, an anchor, and even all the way back here over here, you can see a huge seashell. So basically, whenever you come into Ariel's Grotto, this is the sound that you'll hear. And I actually have two seashell speakers placed on either side of this little entryway. And you come in here, and then you come down here. So the entrance is kind of hidden, and it kind of just looks like she's floating on this little island in here. And I just absolutely adore it i do and i also have another seashell speaker playing the same music over here and i just think it looks absolutely charming so this is the lobby of ariel's grotto bed and breakfast and i absolutely love it because she'll just be sitting here ready to welcome you in and take your reservations and she's got a cute little mickey mug over there and as you can see Right in front of her, Ursula, trapped forever. She could just watch her all the time, keep a close eye on her, you know, you know, because you don't want any trouble. And then behind her, we have, uh, representing Flotsam and Jetsam, we have a uh, Flick original model of a Murray eel, which I think is absolutely very, very sleek and very cool. We have a little nod to flounder over there, and of course, uh, Ursula's necklace right above Ariel's head. And just a whole bunch of different items around this entire room that kind of just represent the inquisitive and curious nature of Princess Ariel. What I really, really love about this lobby, though, is that if you know anything about Animal Crossing, the houses have a back room, a left room, and a right room that are all off of the main room as also including two floors one above and one below but there's actually four suites connected here and over here we have one over here we have one and then of course to the left over here we have another one which might be my personal favorite and over here if you've ever watched uh, Alice in Wonderland, you recognize that doorknob, and that is another room. You can't actually get into it, but it's, it's another cute little Disney nod, which I absolutely adore. We have another one to my good friend, Princess Aurora, over here. And then over here, it's not actually Dalmatian for don't at me, don't at me, but of course, Pongo and Perdita 
gifted this to Princess Ariel because, you know, they're good friends. They're good friends. Um, <laughs> I'm absolutely crazy. So if your favorite, um, if one of your favorite hobbies is to read and enjoy a nice espresso and just enjoy running from the coffee to your next book, you might like this next room. It's actually a nod to Belle from Beauty and the Beast. Because, you know, she loves roses. She loves roses. And all of her uh, friends from Beast Castle are here. Like, we have Lumiere up there. We have over here. There's no real clock that works uh, quite as well as what uh, Cogsworth uh, looks like. But this grandfather clock, I think, works absolutely fine. There's no um, cloche. I don't know how to pronounce that but there, there's none to put over the um the rose but that is actually a rose wand which i think works absolutely wonderful in here she's got a huge stack of reading over here to do and then of course we have the armoire another good friend we have the coat rack another good friend and even over here you might wonder why is there a pet food bowl over here because if you remember the footstool Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know it, you know it. Also, in addition, one of my favorite rooms to have created in this house, Ariel's Grotto, is the wedding suite. And you know, I am a gay man, so I would have rather have had a his and his suite. But you know, with the wedding event, uh, that they had in Animal Crossing New Horizons this past summer was so adorable and I loved so many of the items from it. So we have we have the wedding suit, we have the wedding dress, and I just thought it was absolutely perfect. And how could I not theme this room after it? Do you recognize what movie uh, this one might be a reference to? Anybody? Anybody? Of course it's Lady and the Tramp, and of course we actually have this this portrait of Lady up here. And we have the, um, I forget the title. It is Neapolitan, which is, you know, just puts you right in the mood. And of course we have the spaghetti and meatballs that Lady and the Tramp shared. And you know, one of my absolute favorite things about Animal Crossing is exactly, oh my god, I can't even get off the chair, how they surprise you. Um by interacting with certain items and one of my favorite finds which a lot of people don't realize is these pet beds which are absolutely adorable you can actually sit in them <laughs> i just think it's the cutest thing in the world the cutest thing in the world but it's nice you have like a a little sweet a little wedding suite and actually because of the time period that lady and the tramp took place uh there's not much electricity as far as i can uh, deduced from the actual film itself but I have a whole bunch of candles here and when it's nighttime this room is so wonderfully lit that it just makes me so so happy so now let's go on to our next room now if you are a fan of Walt Disney World as I am you might get a kick out of this next room because it's actually themed after, not a Disney movie or a character, it's actually themed after the Enchanted Tiki Room, which is one of my favorite places to go in Walt Disney World. And I just I just needed to incorporate it. We got this cute little gong here, but it's it's so nice because it's, it's soothing. And of course you have the Tiki Birds in all the four corners of the room. And of course there's a nod to all the music in here, all the water. All the plants it just it kind of gave me that sort of vibe and I love the lighting in here I actually haven't found a KK slider song that works uh, quite to what I want in here because you know the birds sing in the enchanted tiki room and I couldn't find anything that was quite like it in uh, KK sliders extensive discography but I think I did pretty good here I think I did pretty good here I like the Luna beds and the candles here it just it just is a very relaxing and it's a very nice um, sort of feeling that you get when you go to the Enchanted Tiki Room, at least for me, because it's so hot in Walt Disney World sometimes. And it's a nice little getaway. And I kind of wanted to represent that here because it's, it's one of my favorite shows. And I just wanted some sort of nod to it in Ariel's Grotto Bed and Breakfast. 
Uh, another thing that I added, because, you know, I'm absolutely crazy, is uh, if you've ever seen Little Mermaid, you might recognize this next room. It's actually where you can get all the uh, breakfast part of the bed and breakfast. And it's themed after Prince Eric's castle, his dining room in particular. Now, there was no way to quite make something that uh, fully fit, because as you know, they enter from the side and not over here, but you know. Um, and I think it absolutely worked. Now, you might say, there is no dining room table quite like this in the game, if you're familiar, but this is actually the den desk. No, not the den desk. This is actually the lecture hall desk <laughs> that, uh, if you put it in such a way, it kind of looks like a dining room table. I think it fits. I think it fits. And I'm really happy with it. I'm really happy with it. Because you have all these uh, little place settings. And of course, Grimsby would be sitting over there. Ariel would be sitting over here. And Prince Eric would be right here. But you know, of course it's a game. We have some lovely art hanging on the walls. And you might say, you know, that tiling is a little bit weird. I, I don't think they had that in Prince Eric's. Uh, dining room but of course you would be wrong because I checked I thought it was going to be a nice little rug maybe some hardwood no it's this black and white tile I was shocked I was shocked but it, it just works and using the pirate wall I don't know it just all came together really really well and I was really pleased that I could create something like this in Ariel's bed and breakfast I was so so happy um, but of course, now our last room, which you might be pleased to see, is of course Ariel's apartment upstairs. Let's go check. Let's go check. So of course, we're using all of the mermaid items, all of the mermaid wall and flooring, everything that you can get from our good friend Pascal out in the sea. You know, because you had to do a lot, a lot of swimming to get all of these in it. It did take me quite a bit of time. But I love it. I love it because it just sort of fits her. And of course, it's her apartment when she's away from uh, Prince Eric. And she's just, she's just doing her own thing. But I wanted her to feel at home, kind of like missing Atlantica. And she can probably get back there. You know, you go swim. You could drive. You could drive. Of course, she can work on the computer up here when she's not busy downstairs helping guests. And of course, she can sit over here. She can put her makeup on. She could look in the mirror that doesn't show any reflection. Nintendo. Nintendo, come on. Um, and then, of course, back here, so it's a little bit uh, hidden away from everything else, is, of course, where she'll sleep. She'll have a, a grand old time. She's got the mermaid clock. She's got this lamp over here. And I just think, I just think it's so wonderful. And I'm so happy. I'm so happy that there are so many creators out there who have made these wonderful islands. And I never know which way to get out of here. Uh, who have made these wonderful islands. And I absolutely adore what you can do here. Because I mean, like, look at all the things that you can do to create. In this game, like for instance, we made Ariel's Grotto, which is the outside, made it kind of look like it's a floating island. How do you get there? And in here, it just looks like the inside of Ariel's Grotto. Of course, not at the same time, but you know, it, it just it just really works. I'm really happy with it. And if you guys would like to see more content from me, just let me know what you would like to see. Uh, but if you're not following me on Twitch, that's probably where you'll see me the most. I stream every single day, 3 p.m. Eastern Time. We start off with Animal Crossing, but then we usually go into uh, a few other games. And I hope to see you guys there. Bye-bye.